Megan O'Levy here with the Polish Experiment, Kesos. Honestly, I'm not going to say your whole name because it's kind of long. There's a lot of consonants. What's the worst pronunciation you've ever heard? Um, I've heard a few Filipino friends of mine back in the day call me uh, some weird stuff that I couldn't even pronounce myself. It was just the weirdest thing, so I had to sit them down and explain to them how to pronounce my name. But yeah, there's definitely a few pronunciations. I think Kesos, the short form. Nice little hyphen in there, I think works perfectly. Yeah, I think it's good. It makes my job really Definitely. easy. So, has your opponent changed today? Because this is, you've had so many switches. Is it still on right now? Uh, from what I know, it's still on. Mike Masenzio is my opponent. Uh, first off, I just want to say hats off to Mike Masenzio for taking a fight on three days' notice. Um, and also coming up in weight from 85 to 205. I, I know it's really tough for him uh, you know, to, to take a fight on such short notice. My hat goes off to him. And, uh, and thank you so much for taking that fight. Because 15 weeks of training for me and not having a fight last minute it was definitely uh, a little stressful for sure yeah it's got to be tough for you how do you prepare for this late I mean very late in the game change when you only have days do you more worry about yourself and what you're gonna bring to the octagon and not really worry about your opponent at this point yeah you know I um, mean being a veteran of the sport, and, and I, this happened to me before a few times, and you know, I mean, uh, there's been times where I had to take fights on late notice a week out or so. Uh, there's been times where other opponents backed out on me completely. So I've been through all this in my career, so it doesn't, it's not too stressful. Um, you know, I mean, the only thing I got to prepare for is that I'm fighting a wrestler now instead of a striker or with Anthony Perosha, a jiu jitsu guy. So that's the only thing. The game plan changes quite a bit, but I'm very fortunate enough to have some great training partners back home, uh, especially in Mark Munoz, who's really helped me with my wrestling. Um, Emmanuel Newton as well. So, you know, having guys like that, the great coaching staff that I have, I'm able to change up my game plan for, for, for Mike Masenzio. You know, when Igor was no longer your opponent, it seemed like that was somebody you really wanted to face. What was your reaction for that? You know, I was definitely saddened by, by, by the news. Um, Joe Silva called me Monday night. I, I was actually flying out to Vancouver Tuesday morning, and I got the call Monday night saying, hey, Igor's out. And I was really disappointed because I, I love matchups like that. You know what I mean? I love guys, kind of like Stefan Bonner, you know what I mean? Guys to go in there, go toe-to-toe -to -toe with you for 15 minutes. It doesn't matter whether you win or lose. You just It's a great, fun fight to have, and, and fans appreciate that. And I think that's the kind of fight Igor and I would have had if that fight, if I happened. You know, now it's a little different game story because I'm not sure what kind of shape Mike's going to be in. Is his game plan specifically just to take me down and try to win a fight there, or is he actually going to go toe to toe with me? Uh, I'm pretty sure he's not going to go toe to toe. I'm pretty sure he's going to try to take me down. So my game plan has to change quite a bit. All right, and before I let you go, hockey's back in Winnipeg. How excited are you? And are season tickets on the birthday list for the summer? You know, uh, unfortunately, I don't live in Winnipeg much anymore. I live in California most of my time. That's where all my training camp is. So I don't, I don't, I only only go back home once in a while to Winnipeg, but I'm extremely, extremely proud and happy that the Winnipeg Jets are back in Winnipeg. Ever since the Jets left, I kind of stopped being a hockey fan. Now that uh, now the Jets are back, I have something to look forward to every time I come, come home for Christmas, so I'm very excited about that. Awesome. Well, you're excited about hockey and excited for your fight this Saturday. Yes. Good luck, K-Sauce. Thank you so much. Keep checking Heavy.com for more MMA coverage.